So many people have been waiting for Apple to release a foldable iPhone. Will Apple ever release a foldable iPhone? And if it actually does, will it simply be too late? Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here. And foldable phones have been around for a little while now. And there's one big player that's been kind of unsurprisingly absent from the market. And that of course is Apple. Apple is never really the first to market with anything. So it kind of makes sense. But right now the competition is already piling up. Samsung has announced third generation versions of things like the Galaxy Z Fold and the Galaxy Z Flip. We also have the dual screen Surface Duo 2. There's just a lot of stuff going on and Apple is just silent. Despite Apple's official silence on the matter, we've still heard a lot of stuff from various analysts, leakers, and several of Apple's own patents that highlight a foldable phone running iOS. So what would the display look like on a foldable iPhone? Obviously based on current timetables, we're incredibly early and things are gonna change a whole bunch by the time a phone is ever released if it's ever released. And even just talking about the display, we've heard so many different things. There's been rumors about uh, an eight inch screen that's almost the same size as an iPad mini. There's some uh, from Ming-Chi Kuo, who's out saying it could be up to a nine inch display, which would be massive. Uh, others are saying seven and a half inches. Like there's just all these different versions of displays that Apple is currently testing. It seems like the prevailing trend right now for Apple is to go with a clamshell design. So basically taking you know, a phone like this and folding it in half, like that. Um, and that would be kind of how they would go towards their phone. But again, there's still a bunch of different options where Apple could fold the opposite way, could have a larger screen like a bigger tablet. So many options for Apple to consider and they clearly are based on the patents and rumors that have been coming out. Though it does seem Apple is getting closer back in 2020, which I know at this point it was two years ago, Samsung had delivered some early prototypes of the foldable displays that Apple may want to use in an iPhone Fold, an iPhone Flip, an iPhone Air, whatever it chooses to name this device. So when could Apple release a foldable iPhone if it chooses to do so? Display analyst Ross Young posits that 2023 is a possibility for the launch a foldable iPhone, roughly a year from this year. But he also says that 2024 is the more likely of the option. If Apple does release or announce an iPhone Fold in 2024, that'll put it five years behind Samsung's initial folding smartphones. Five years. But then again, Apple, like I said, is never first to market, or at least very rarely. Instead, what Apple does is analyze a market segment, see what it can do better, and then release it. The iPod wasn't the first portable music player. The iPhone wasn't the first smartphone. The HomePod wasn't the first smart speaker. Apple always works on this stuff before bringing it out. Apple Watch can be said for the same thing. And I think that's what we'll see here with the foldable iPhone. Especially those early versions of Samsung's foldable phones, durability was a huge issue with the screens having major issue and dirt getting in behind them and causing little bumps in them, all sorts of stuff. And this is stuff that Apple would likely want to avoid when it releases its first version of a foldable iPhone. If Apple can nail the hardware here, I think a foldable iPhone perfectly makes sense for Apple. I mean, we're seeing these foldable phones go for like $2,000 or more. And Apple, again, has a history of expanding its lineups to increase the ASP, the average selling price. And it does it like clockwork. They really kind of a basic version of the product and then more advanced, fancier versions. You know, all of that going to iPods and expanding that lineup. We had it with the iPhone, came out with just an iPhone. Then you had things like the plus-sized iPhone. Then the iPhone 10 was out, which was a high-end version of it that was even more expensive. And then we had, um, jumping up to like the pros and the plus size pros and everything else that Apple's done. Now we're looking at the Apple Watch this fall adding a new pro version. So you've got a, the smaller and the larger versions of Apple Watch and premium materials. Now we're gonna have an ear higher version of Apple Watch 
Apple Watch Pro with more features, increased durability, special case materials, and all of that. So Apple, again, just offering another option. So going to iPhone, Apple's been crushing it. They sell a ton of iPhones, but they want to sell more and they want to increase the ASP. They're still going to have low cost iPhones available, like the iPhone SE or last generation versions that it keeps around, but it also wants to be able to move that high end even higher and a foldable iPhone could easily do that. So far, foldable phones have been selling surprisingly well. And I think it only makes sense for Apple to capitalize on Apple to capitalize on it as well. Hopefully though, they have something unique that's able to innovate on something that by the time Apple does get there, will be a five-year-old market in the first place. Let me know what you guys think. Do you wanna see a foldable iPhone? And when do you think Apple will actually release it? Let me know down below in the comments or better yet, let me know on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU and we can have a whole conversation about it. Otherwise, stay tuned because I've got a lot more videos heading your way.